Hi, I'm Todd Zola from Masters Ball and write for ESPN and Baseball HQ and DFS Edge. And when I'm not writing, I'm watching the Fantasy Sports Network. I am with another young man that has uh, helped develop the fantasy sports industry, Todd Zola. Nice to have you here, my friend. Nice to be called young for a change. <laughs> yes, you are. Well, compared to me, everybody's. Anyway, uh, the point is, is that, let me ask you a question. How does a scientist, like chemist, whatever you were, a uh, mad scientist that you are now, how, you know, how, does, how does somebody with that kind of background find themselves in fantasy sports? Well, it, was been a, it was a hobby. Uh, always uh, in chemistry, master's degree in chemistry. So this is my hobby for several years. And uh, as the bio far the pharmaceutical industry goes, it's very uh, up and down. In a, in a down in a downturn, uh, lost a job and made the decision after uh, trying to get another job to this make this my living. I was always afraid, to be honest, of making my hobby my vocation. Right. Because. I love I loved my job and I love this hobby. What if I didn't like either of them when they were one and the same? Well, I, 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 or you can love it again, and that's what's that's happening. Right, I, it's right. a knock on wood or glass yeah, yeah. Uh, or <laughs> wood. Right. Uh, it, it's worked out. But it could have been. It could have been instead of Balco. It could have been Zola. Um, no comment. <laughs> okay. I was in peptide chemistry. And uh, I turned down yes. more than one order of uh, of that I, uh, I happen, as knowing a little about sports, I kind of recognized uh, that this order wasn't necessarily what the person said it was going to be. Yeah, no, I see your attorneys there were giving me the signal. So <laughs> Todd brought his attorneys. There'll be no A Rod references here, even though he could probably answer some questions. Okay, okay. So fantasy sports. You start off with MastersBall.com, and it's just gone on and on and on. Masters Ball's home. There's no place like home. Um, been there since 1997. Uh, it's founded by Jason Gray, who's now a scout with Tampa. Uh, God bless him. And let me keep the name. Let me keep uh, yes. the site. We've got a new logo, though. Uh, and that's always been home. And once I announced that I'm a free agent and looking to freelance, uh -huh. uh, when ESPN comes calling and, and Baseball HQ, uh, you know you're doing something right. That you know two of the top sites in the industry are, are asking for your services. Uh, so I was pretty pretty happy about that. So that's part of I, I write for them. I write for uh, uh, a daily site, DFS Edge. I'm kind of uh, I'm getting hooked on the daily games. It's really something. I'm right? getting I'm get yeah I don't I'm getting hooked. Yeah. Uh, so I said so write for DFS Edge and uh, like I said, but it's always Masters Ball grounded in Masters Ball. Produce their 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 subscription content. Forums and uh, you know, right under there, I'm um, you know, represent Tout Wars, Masters Ball, you know, yeah. that sort of thing. So that's still home. Todd is one of the leaders in the industry, and you have been for so many years. And then we see the uh, Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Channel develop. Now we've got the uh, the, the fabulous TV network being launched May uh, uh, March 4th. Uh, is there anything that could surprise you more than what's happened in this industry? No, I remember when I first started to come to these meetings. It's, you know, I uh, they you could inter first meeting you're allowed to introduce yourself to the FSTA. So I just thought it was kind of weird, like you know, you, you pick up a magazine, you're around a couple. Of, I wow, I've had I've, I've I've had a drink with these guys. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the different magazines like now, nah, Jesus, nah, I am one of them guys. You are one. You of know, those it's guys, kind of yeah. So, I, not, nothing will surprise me. Uh, mm -hmm. It's you know, technology the, it, the way it advances. Um, I, I, you just don't know the next step. You don't know where technology is going to go. So same with same with baseball. You don't know where data collect. You know, you just you don't know what where technology will take you. You just have to be smart enough to uh, be a little bit ahead of the curve. So we know where we are now. Yeah. We've seen the industry develop. As a scientist, always looking to the future to find that new cure. Uh, where do we go from here? Uh not a, no no it, 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 literally you you could you could be betting or, or judging as the game's going on you know is this guy gonna throw a is this guy gonna throw a fastball or a curveball and you and you hit your you hit your computer monitor and you could be 
judging what the next pitch is going to be. Yeah. Uh, stuff like, I mean, take daily to That's hourly. Right. Curveball, yeah. right? You know, curveball. You, you, Fastball. Yeah, you, you just, we just don't know. Um, I think there'll be a lot more. Uh, uh, you know, well, the, the, the bad part of what's happened is there's less of, you know, getting together your buddy in, the, in your house right. and that, that sort of thing. Um, but if they if the industry continues to grow, more of your buddies will want to be in a league. You won't have to go to the internet to get a league. So I, I sort of am hoping is that it's a full cycle circle and it comes back to there's more home leagues. You know, this, this high stakes thing is great, the dailies are great, but it's all rooted, you know, getting together with your high school, your college buddies, or your work buddies, getting 12, 15 people together on a Saturday afternoon and doing a live draft. Todd Zola, one of the most prolific guests uh, on radio shows, podcasts, and I'm sure on the uh, on the TV network. Now, if you're offered a position on the on the TV network, would you rather be the traffic reporter or the weather girl? With the caveat that you have to keep in mind to the viewers that the camera adds a couple hundred pounds. <laughs> Does um, it really? Yeah, That's yeah, okay, yeah, right? yeah. Uh -huh. um, the weather girl or the traffic person? Uh, we're, uh, that's, that's, I, you know, do I get to go in a helicopter? Get a helicopter. I'll, I'll take the traffic person. I like that, yeah. One of the founding, the guy, one of the guys who made this whole thing happen is Todd Zola. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Lenny. Appreciate it.